Welcome back to Phoenix Point, where I just finished uh, defending against two attacks. Um, off camera, all I did was a little bit of trading here. I think that was about it, actually. So, um, the other thing I needed to do was, all right, I renamed this to training base, but we need to start building a containment unit. And, hmm. Let's build two Neuralizers. They can come after we have a Deceptor, though. Keep pushing back these grenades, I guess. Uh, let's, let's finish the grenades, too. <laughs> we could probably use those. Um, so the thing is, I think what I'm going to do is actually fly all the way back up here and... Um, Yeah, I think I'm gonna return to base, drop these people off, maybe pick up the um, APC. Uh, do we want to activate this? Our living quarters, more storage. Oof. Screw it, let's do it. Um, Ah, of course it's infested. Damn, I was hoping that we would miss an infection because it's really, really close, but it looks like it's probably collision with that little circle. I didn't check what the percentage was, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, let's do a little more trading, though. All right, you guys... Can all return to base. Use some food to trade with. Trade. Oh, let's trade some. Well, no. I just traded for tech, but we only have 274 right now, so forget that. Uh, here we can trade some food for tech. Or materials for tech. Uh, I could trade the food because, you know, trading to New Jericho or Sinedrian is worth it. Trade those materials back and forth. Could probably do one exploration site while we wait. Wait for the other guy to check catch up. All right, our orbit set down near an abandoned industrial complex. As the Manticore 2 lands, a man comes out of the building and starts waving at our operatives. He introduces himself as Dr. Peter Keene. He looks half starved and feverish, staring at anyone that comes near with wide eyes. I need you to take it. Take all of it. I need you to shed the bonds of the past, the mortal concerns of machines. Take everything, please. Um... I think I usually apprehend him. Let's just take his offer. Tech and materials. Why are you wasting time? I'm not telling you anything about my past. The past is irrelevant. Irrelevant. Only the future matters, and I can't get there whilst I'm weighed down with all this mortality. <laughs> the guilt is everywhere. Take it. Take it away. Our optives accede to Dr. Keene's wishes. Retrieve his gathered inventory of resources. I feel like if we capture him, we should have recruited his ass. You know, but I don't think that is indeed. All right, not ready for that yet. What about you? But I don't think that's exactly what happens. I'm pretty sure your guys just end up tired. All right, guys, let's uh, reconsolidate. 
Okay, so armor getting thicker. Ah, now we're dealing with snipers. And mind control. Uh, is everybody home? Yeah, so... Alright, you guys all leveled up and shit. Man, you kind of took a beating, didn't you? Although, I would like to have a grenade launcher. Maybe one of the other heavies got it uh, upgraded enough. All right, I'll do this off camera. I'll be right back. All right, let's uh, work our way over to Australia. But first, on the way there, we should probably take this out. Um, just because if we're that far away, people are probably going to get attacked. Plus, we need to check out this haven. Research complete. Okay. Uh, I built two more neuralizers, by the way. All right, Cedar Ark is a remote haven built by a billionaire, billionaire philanthropist, Mike Spark, an old competitor of Tobias West. Spark, like West, generally kept a low profile. Not much is known about him except for his dedication to environmental causes. He is said to have financed the Saval... Svalbard Global Seed Vault and was involved in the first attempts to develop a filtration system that could stop the Pandora virus. The population of Cedar Ark was carefully selected from around the world and all of its inhabitants are extremely loyal to Spark. On the surface, everything seems relatively normal, but there is one unusual detail. The people of Cedar Ark refer to themselves as the Destined. Destined for what is unclear. Upon arriving at Cedar Arc, our operatives are invited to meet the head of Cedar Arc Executive Council, Mark, Mike Spark himself. Spark is a quiet man, but very focused. He seems to have expected our operatives' arrival and offers them a mission, extracting his brother from a Disciples of Anu prison in exchange for a reward. We will do it. As anticipated, Spark says with an enigmatic smile, Handing our operatives a map of the prison where his brother is being held, I will do my best to convince the disciples that this is a Cedar Arc operation. I don't mind taking the blame, and if they overestimate our capabilities, so much the better. Alright, where is it? Oh, phew, okay, so it'll be a while before we get there. Alright, off we go. Now, bringing the armadillo, probably not the best on these missions. The lair rarely makes that easy uh, to have a vehicle there. Okay, so I want my heavies and two assaults. Uh, not you. Oh, wait, you're my medic. So let's keep the meds. Um, actually, let's give you return fire. Although, maybe... Maybe Mr. Ray Zero Hoover would make a better capturer. Yeah, let's do that. We'll leave our medic as a dedicated medic. I mean, you don't need to carry that. You'll carry that. Um, because I wouldn't mind you having a grenade or something too. It's not gonna work out though. And our snipers. Any neural pistols finished yet? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh wait, what am I doing? The containment unit isn't gonna be ready for two days. Okay, well, I'm going to undo all that, <laughs> and when I get back, I'll be in the mission. Shit, alright, so we already have a whole bunch of people.
War cry you into oblivion now. Pretty solid. Ooh, the arm is exposed. Which arm, though? Uh, I don't want to get poisoned. Lining up a shot. I'm prepared. Acquiring target. Nice. Okay, so less concerned about getting poisoned now. Uh, we're not going to be able to daze him, unfortunately. Shit, he's pretty close. Pushing on. Hopefully we don't alert it. I think we'll be okay. Zero armor, but no dice. Already there. I've got this. Well, I fucked that up. Um, crap. I was not paying attention. That was a stroke of luck. <laughs> Acquiring targets. Probably not going to be able to deal 900 damage to that thing. I'm repositioning. Oh shit. Shit, man. Um, oh, I need to do more damage than that. Ah, shit. Oh, 
poison. No, just the arm. Aiming. Right there. Fuck. Ugh, why do I keep forgetting that that thing's there? Alright, well now I have to deal with it. God, one can hope. <sighs> She's gonna make him panic again. Oh! Well, now he's definitely gonna panic. This is gonna end up being more damage. Just like target practice. I've got this. Here's some of the armor. Damn, we hit the head, but it would have been better to hit the torso. All right. So there's that. Gonna psychic scream again. Okay, so no more psychic scream to deal with, fortunately. I'm ready. Not even sure what the best angle is going to be here. Let's go. 
It'll take cover from this thing, because that, that virus is going to be a pain. Have to focus. Too bad. Gotta keep on pushing. I've like barely gotten through the initial group of people though. Okay, that's good. Shit. I don't know, man. He's probably going to melee him. I hope I get them. Oh, I didn't realize I had one more person. Fire. Right, at least he's dazed, not dead, but oh, not who I expected him to go for. probably need to recover actually oh, I didn't bring any extra ammo fuck I need an angle steady uh, maybe we can cripple the torso Goodbye, torso. Uh, who's my medic? You are. Let someone else pick up your shit. We have a plan? This better work. Oh, she is ready for action. Shit. Didn't realize that. Real problem is going to be you. I'm ready. Let's just get this over with. It's not going to work. I'm 
She could recover just a little bit, buddy. Maybe we can cripple her legs. If we're lucky. Be far enough away. She's probably still going to get to Psychic Scream, though, unfortunately. But we haven't even, like, found the frickin' hive thing yet. Wasn't sure if he'd have vision. Oh fuck! Everyone's gonna panic. Luckily, I forgot you got bloodlust. Time to earn your keep. Moving. Uh, time for you to recover. Probably recover again. <laughs> Pistol. Oh, she's not gonna die. Unfortunate. Oh. I thought recovering would have given him immunity to panic that turn. God. That was friggin close. Okay, starting to gain some ground, I guess. Receiving loud and clear. Too much weight. All right, let's start pressing forward. I didn't even realize we spotted that thing. I think we should head over there as a team, though. Too much shit isn't in range there. Taking aim. Bullseye. Disabled another head. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, you should step back just in case. Need to hand some ammo off to that sniper as well. Be right there. Zooming in. Shotgun might be better. Yeah. On target. Right, did it hit anybody? Yeah, it hit him. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, at least we're mostly caught up with the wave. Oh, you got hit too. Everybody's got zero now. Uh, might as well recover, man. Getting through that shield. Playing it safe. God, you're at zero two. Damn! Alright, gotta stop spinning our wheels and get over there, but we gotta recover. We don't have much choice. Keep on panicking. That's okay, though. Screw it. Let's just head over there. Good job. Uh, let's take some of her burden. Let's give her some ammo. Actually, she could probably be fine with just this for now. Actually, you know what? Let's um, let's do that instead. Got too much shit. Uh, you gotta carry some more med packs or something. Alright, this gun still has a little bit more ammo. I'll try and get there. Start rushing that guy. Let 
Rush the objective. Let me catch my breath. On the double. take him out I'd like to get his bulldog as well at least there's an exit right by it so that's something I'm not sure about this uh, now who would we spot oh just these two that's okay as long as it's not a sniper And there really isn't like a great way around here, is there? No time to waste. Who just panicked, by the way? down or something? I guess it doesn't matter. Alright. You guys come help keep your buddy safe. Set you up for return fire. Just, I don't think he's going to be able to come around here and shoot, but maybe. Mm, no return fire. for the egg pods with someone with less um, penetration. Moving. Actually, I probably could have shredded it first. Uh, no, I can't. Better work. Oh, look what I did. Jesus. God damn it. Let's just set you up for next turn. Still didn't get it. Alright, we're gonna have to take care of these guys. There we go, we can split it between the body. Out. 
I'll keep my eyes open. Fucking tritons and they're crawling. All right, let's get to work on this. Oh, out of ammo. Um, anyone have ready for action? You do not. Reloading. Not so set up for next turn after all. On the move. Targeting. Acquiring target. That was a kill. All right, perfect. you towards the finish line buddy out of ammo what do you know with one. Alright, you need to heal and hide. Oh God, paralysis is the last thing we need. Ready. Bring any extra ammo. Guess it's my turn. Not my medic. What's our move? No rest for the weary. Oh, I expected that to trigger Overwatch. Hope I'm not leaving myself exposed. Take out the last egg and take that out. Let's roll. All right, guys, let's get the hell out of here. Reloading. I'll try and get there. Let's just recover so you can jump jet out next turn.
Uh, I can't get close enough to heal. God damn, wow. All right, where's my medic? God damn, your speed. Oh. Should have jumped with the other guy first. Man, this is why I like speed so much. It's so rough, like, getting the hell out of here. Five by five. This is as long as no one gets, like, paralyzed or panicked. you out of here. You guys aren't that useful with your shitty accuracy. Need to get better armor for him to... Like the assault armor is better than the Askew armor in almost every way. The torso only gives one speed but it's like double the armor. Man, layers take forever. Wasn't expecting this to take 48 minutes, but god damn this sniper. He is taking a beating. I'm really trying to focus him down. Run, dude. Run. All of you. Here we go. Probably should have done uh, the new Jericho mission before I did this, now that I'm thinking on it. Oh well. Nuclear fusion, Sneedrian battle armor, Sneedrian aircraft. My task is not to see what is on the surface, but to perceive the truth within. What do you believe? Do you understand that there is no way back to the world before the flood? Because it was the very nature of that world that caused its downfall. If you do, then you understand the folly of those who dream of the old world, and you will act against them. I am sending you the coordinates of a sacred site. At this place, a child was born with a body uplifted by Anu and a mind free of the plague, a harbinger of things to come. Yet now, the heathens of New Jericho occupy this hallowed ground and refuse to leave. Cast them out and prove your dedication to our cause. The old world must die for the new to be born. You seem to be genuinely on our side. And everyone here at Synedrin really appreciates that. 
Please understand that we are cautious with organizations such as the Phoenix Project, not because we're trying to be obstinate, but because we've had some pretty terrible experiences that we'd prefer not to repeat. You know that I have high hopes for an alliance between the Phoenix Project and Synedrion. So my advice is this. What would be really helpful right now would be a more direct demonstration of your support. That could really win some hearts and minds. At this moment, we have a couple of really important projects running. The sort that could actually change the future. Like improving our mist repelling tech, which may allow us to peacefully coexist with the new ecology. Or deploying a new breed of modified plant to help us reclaim the planet for ourselves. Believe me when I say we've had a lot of debates about which approach is better, and there are some pretty opinionated factions forming. In any case, we're lacking enough people to support both projects at once, and it's a bit of a deadlock. So if you could lend a hand with one of them, that would mean a lot. Okay, so um, I think the other Sinedrian ending that I didn't get yet was the Mystery Pellers, so we'll do that this time. Zara will be pleased to hear that. She is one of the most passionate advocates of, well, some people would say the original values of Synedrion. But it's hardly that simple. She is part of a loose coalition called the Polyphonic Tendency, which advocates solutions that reject all hierarchies, all forms of domination. Nikolai, on the other hand, oh dear, I'm involving you in Synedrion drama, aren't I? My apologies. Good luck with the mission. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you in the next one. When I come back, I'll actually do phase one. And where is the fourth initiation? Oh, it's down here. Oh, so we can, uh, we could probably bang out all three of these <laughs> in the next video. All right. But until then, I will see you next time.